How's it going everybody? This is Mark with I, Apple Tech One Toy, and today I'm going to show you how to connect your Mac to a projector. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and plug your cable into the computer and ports on the back of your projector. It may also be labeled as RGB or also N. Then we just want to take our cable and plug that into your computer. If you're like me, you have an adapter. So just plug that into your adapter. I'm going to be using the VGA2 main display port adapter in this case. Then go ahead and plug it right into your computer. And we're almost ready to go. Now I can go ahead and push the power button on the projector and wait for it to warm up. And your projector should warm up soon. And your computer screen will be displayed right on there and it will completely interact with your computer. If it's not showing up on the screen how you want, you might want to hit the source button. That will just change the input that it's searching for. You want to change that till it's on the input that you plugged your cable into. As you can see on the back, all of these ports are labeled and mine is in the computer end port, which is the input that it's in. So you just want to make sure you're in the right input. And what if you want to show what you're on your screen up onto the board or wherever your projector is putting something to? Well, that's pretty easy and it could be set to default as to um, different monitors. So all you wanna do is head on into settings, click displays, then hit arrangements, and then mirror screens. And now as you can see, this is exactly what I'm seeing on my computer screen directly in front of your guys' faces from the projector. And now it's mirroring both screens. And if no, no else works, you might want to try changing your source and input. So as you can see, computer in is what I am using, but it could also be something different. So if you have plugged into monitor out, you might want to change that to computer in. You might want to correct the corresponding colors. So just fiddle around with it. It would usually be labeled in RGB or computer in, and the color should match up your cables. Well, that's going to do it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Thanks so much for watching. This is Mark, and have a great day.